Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to the another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about iOS 18.4 RC2 using after using it for 24 hours. Also, I will be taking your comments, so I will be answering your comments in this video. So this video is divided into two sections. In the first section, I will be talking about how the iOS 18.4 RC2 is performing. And in the second section, I will take your comments and answer your comments. So without any further delay, let's dive into this video. And first thing first, let's talk about the battery life. So I will go to the settings into the battery section over here and over here i will go to the last five days now this is the only day when i used ios 18.4 rc2 now as you can see i used more than 50 percent and it is below than 75 percent which means i used around 65 percent of battery life you can consider it 60 to 65 percent and for that i got seven hours and nine minute screen on time as you can see and during this time I use WhatsApp a lot, Instagram, browser, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and some other applications as you can see. Now, important thing, this is, the, I just updated to this version, like just, it's been just 24 hours. And I was always takes couple of days to get stable. So I think this might get better, but still, 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 this is a really good battery life. Now, many of you were asking me that, uh, battery life of iOS 18.4 RC2 is better than 18.3.2 uh, or not. So I can easily say 18.4 RC2 is better than 18.3.2. 18.3.2 battery life is not that impressive. 18.4 RC2 is better, which means we will get a better battery life in the public release that is releasing very, very soon. So a decent battery life, everything is going really, really good. Now it's time to talk about the Geekbench score. So yes, I ran a couple of Geekbench score. I ran the score right after installing the update. And for that, I got 3134 on a single core, 7850 on a multi-core. Now, if I share the single core with the average one, it is lower than the average one, which is not a nice thing. And over here, it is... Uh, in the multi-core, it is also lower than the average one. So I was not happy with the scores. But again, these were the scores when I, like, right after installing the update, I got these scores. So after a couple of hours, I ran the test again. And this time, scores got really, really better. 3398 on a single core, while 8465 on a multi-core. If I show you the single core one, now the scores are higher than the average in the single core. And same goes for the multi-core. As you can see, scores are way higher than the average one, which is very, very nice and a nice improvement. I also ran the test for the GPU history. It was 27806 after installing the update, which is slightly higher than the average one. I ran the test again, and this time I got 27999 which is also higher than the average one. In fact, the new score is higher than the iOS 18.3.2 score, which is a really good sign. So in terms of scores, scores are good. Things are looking better. Performance is good. I'm not facing any sort of battery draining or overheating. There is definitely a lot of, lot of improvement, which is a very nice thing. Now, if I conclude the iOS 18.4 RC2 after using it for 24 hours again, I was always take a couple of day, couple of days to get stable, but still, this is a decent update. Now it's time to move to your comments and see what you guys are asking and how things are going on over here. Okay, a few comments are not relevant. iPhone with iPhone 14. Okay, iPhone. I don't have iPhone 14 with me anymore. I will get very very soon, but for now I cannot make iPhone 14 video for you guys. I'm sorry for that i was 18.4 rc is it okay to update on iphone 15 pro max um it is okay to update but i will say it's just a one day that 18.4 public is coming so you can just wait for the public one that will be a better thing can you do a battery check again because you said a battery dropped after the fast than the 30 percent on your iphone then maybe they fixed it um, in the RC2, yes, battery life is improved. It is very, very improved. Um, it is better than the RC1, being very ominous. 
wallpaper link well guys if you want any sort of wallpaper that i use in my videos the best way is to get my wallpaper is just follow me on instagram dm me on instagram and i will send you wallpaper um also bring the shortcut so i can know that what wallpaper you are asking and i will share it don't worry about that initial impressions and this comment is about rc2 well this video is initial impressions you bought a new iphone yes i got a new iphone why do you add like teaching us something but we all know this well not everyone know everything this is the important thing to understand if you know something maybe i don't know that thing maybe other person don't know that thing or maybe another person know more than me so yeah it is not that uh whatever i am uploading is not for the everyone it is for the person that needs to know that this is a simple thing you need to understand i don't get in my ios version from ios 18.3 to ios 18 now my battery backup is this is fake obviously you cannot downgrade from i you cannot downgrade from ios 18 but you do directly to ios 18 it is not possible they have degraded performance due to summer weather because in summer it is very high temperature and if iphone heats it will not perform well well i'm not sure about this i will definitely gonna do research on this and will come back with the video because this is a really important one i need to see if this is even true or not The performance go with a really good start, but when it drops below 80, it lag on us. Yeah, this is something I was saying also that after 30, it is not good, but RC2 seems much, much better. Why do you think RC has better battery life than beta 4? Well, I tested out the beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, beta 4. I tested out every other version. And what I experience, maybe you don't experience that thing. Maybe you're um, you definitely you will be having a different iPhone. And even if you have, have a same iPhone, um, definitely you will be like using your device in a different way. I'm using my device a different way. So yeah, things can be b a different for uh, things can be different for us. So it is not something that you can argue on. It's like it's a basic thing you need to understand. How battery life compared? with 17.7.2 well um i didn't use 17.7.2 very honestly but definitely 18 will have a slightly lower battery than the hour 17 because 18 is packed with so many amazing customization features and whenever there are new features there will be slightly downgrade in the battery because that is obvious east or west iOS 17 is the best. That is your choice. You can stay on specific update. Completely your choice. That should be final bit number that will be in the public release unless there is an announcement. Yeah, there is anyways. So yeah, these are some of your co uh, questions and comments basically that I wanted to include in this video. If you have any other comment related to RC2, let me in the comment section below. Also, so many of you were asking me about the video of the uh, customization I did over here. Let me show you. So many were asking me about this um, widget customization and how I did that. That video will be coming tomorrow. Hopefully, I um, shoot it that video. I just need to edit that video and this video will come by tomorrow. So yeah, stay tuned to that. Well, this is all from this video. I hope you like this video. If you did give this video a big thumbs up do like a share this video subscribe to the channel and i hope to catch you guys in the next one until then take care peace out